the extremely sensitive quantum space-time measuring tool will serve as a template for scientific exploration in the years to come. Based at the U.S. Department of Energy's Fermilab in Illinois, the holometer isn't much to look at. It's a small array of lasers and mirrors with a trailer for a control room. But the low-tech look of the device belies the fact that it is an unprecedentedly sensitive instrument, able to measure movements that last only a millionth of a second and distances that are a billionth of a billionth of a meter a thousand times smaller than a single proton. Our common sense, and the laws of physics, assumes that space and time are continuous. The holometer challenges this assumption. We know that energy on the atomic level, for instance, is not continuous and comes in small, indivisible amounts. The holometer was built to test if space and time behave the same way. If they do, this would mean that everything is pixelated, like a digital image. When you zoom in far enough, you see that a digital image is not smooth, but made up of individual pixels. An image can only store as much data as the number of pixels allows. If the universe is similarly segmented, and hence more blurry than we think, then there would be a limit to the amount of information space-time can contain. The main theory the holometer was built to test was posited by Craig Hogan, a professor of astronomy and physics at the University of Chicago and the head of Fermilab's Center for Particle Astrophysics. In a new result released this week after a year of data taking, the holometer collaboration has announced that it has ruled out Hogan's theory of a pixelated universe to a high level of statistical significance. This means the holometer did not detect the amount of correlated holographic noise quantum jitter that this particular model of space-time predicts.